So Manchester United drew 0-0 away at Seville and there's no respite because we've got Chelsea at home in the Premier League on Sunday. We lost at Stamford Bridge early this season, but can Jose Mourinho get one over on Antonio Conte? Who will play in the team? Here's my start 11. Now we can all remember the 1-0 loss against Chelsea early this season. Alvaro Morata's pinpoint header made a difference in the game where Manchester United were pretty much dominated. And a big reason for that was the fact that we played two in midfield. We had Henrik Mkhitaryan playing as a number 10. Effectively, he had to drop deep to try and help, but he was invisible in that game. Fabregas, Bakayoko, I think it was, Kante, they had the run of the roost. They, they were dominating us in midfield. And when Hazard dropped deep, we couldn't do anything. So to win this game against Chelsea, we need to use a 4-3-3. And it is as simple as that. In defence, I'm going for De Gea. I'm going Luke Shaw. I'm going Eric Bay, Smalling. And I'm going Antonio Valencia. Now, Valencia was rested for the game against Seville, but I think he'll play here. And I would definitely start Luke Shaw over Ashley Young. I'm sorry, but I don't see a reason why a fully fit Ashley Young starts over a fully fit Luke Shaw. Maybe you disagree with me, but let me know in the comments. Now, I'm putting Eric Bailly back in this team because I just feel we need him as soon as possible. You know, Lindelof played out in Seville. He played OK, you know, but I want Bailly back as soon as possible. He's our best defender by some margin. Phil Jones is injured at the moment, so I think Chris Morning will keep his place in the team. And to be fair to him, he played well against Seville. We just need a certain type of Mike Smalling to turn up and not Chris Morning. But he played well against Seville, so give credit where it's due. Now, the main changes come in midfield. I'm going to go for Matic and McTominay as two defensive midfielders with Paul Pogba in front of him, or in front of them, sorry, as a sort of number 10 type player. Somebody's got a free role to roam around and actually create in. Now, Pogba didn't start against Seville, but came on quite quickly as soon as Ander Herrera got injured. If he doesn't start against Chelsea when he's fit, and you know I desperately need him in midfield, questions have to be asked as to what's going on and what's the reason that he is not playing. Because Jose Mourinho is saying it's got nothing to do with anything between him and Pogba over positional differences of where Pogba wants to play. If he doesn't start against Chelsea, I'd be concerned about it. Now, we did play 4-3-3 against Huddersfield, I think it was. But we played with three defensive midfielders, Matic, McTominay and Carrick. Play McTominay alongside Matic and play Pogba in front of them. That's when you can get the most out of a 4-3-3. That's when you'll get the defensive protection to protect us against the likes of Fabregas and Bakayoko and who's ever coming through the middle and allow Pogba to create, and that's what he needs to do. And for a front three, I'm going for Sanchez, Martial and Lukaku. Now, I would play Sanchez on the right-hand side, and I would play Martial out on the left, simply because Martial is so much better on the left-hand side than he is on the right-hand side. Against Chelsea, maybe like we did a couple of years ago, and we played with two up front, we played Rashford and Lingard, went for the balls over the top to try and negate a little bit of their press, and it worked. So maybe we'll see Lingard and Rashford start in this game. I don't know, we've got options in attack. That's what happens when you sign Alexis Sanchez and you've already got Martial, Lukaku, Lingard, Lingard and Rashford in your squad. So who would you start in attack? For me, the most important thing is the formation against Chelsea. We need to play a 4-3-3. We need that two defensive midfielders and we need Pogba in a number 10 type role with the ability to roam forward and create rather than being defensively stifled by tactics and Mourinho telling him to stay further back. That is my predicted, or that's my hopefully my preferred start 11 for the game. Let me know what yours is in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the vlog from Seville. Make sure you check that out. We'll leave a link in the description as well. Until next time, take it easy.